What's going on guys? Codis here. Today I want to show you how to install uh, SKSE for Skyrim Special Edition and then uh, Sky UI 5. It's beautiful. It's right here on the screen if you see it. So I'm just on the Nexus. If you don't know how to use the Nexus, just go create an account, download the manager. It's super easy. I'm not going to do all that because I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that. So I already have Sky UI opened and then you're going to go to the description. Um, where is it? Requirements and installation. You just need SKSE64. So go ahead and open that. Then uh, you want to click the current SE build 2.04 or 2.0.4. And then uh, just click the 7-zip archive right here. If you don't have 7-zip, you can download it right there. It's super easy. Not going to go into that as well because I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. But uh, I just have my data folder right here next to Skyrim. So you just want to open that. And then uh, also I need to open File Explorer, Downloads, or wherever you downloaded the 7-zip to. I have SKSE right here. So just go ahead and right click that. Open with 7-zip. Open Archive. Click that open. Get rid of that real quick. And then uh, all you want to do is take the SKSE folder or files right here. Just go ahead and drag and drop them in here. I've already done it. They're already here, so I'm not going to drag and drop. And then skip the SRC folder, and then go ahead and drop the data folder in, and then you'll be all set to go on that. And then you don't need this again, so you can just close that. And then they have the SKSE64 loader right here. So that would be your shortcut. So all you want to do is uh, send that to desktop, create shortcut. And then if you want to change the icon, which I'm sure you do, you do is go to cha uh, properties, change icon, and then go to browse. I've already done all this, so it's like you want to go to your uh, program files 86, Steam, and then it's like Steam something else. Yeah, Steam cache, and then games. And then you'll have uh, your Skyrim logo in there. You'll have all your icons for all your games. So if you ever do anything like that, it's awesome. You could just do that. Oh, I guess I should change it. Go ahead and click the Skyrim icon. OK, OK, apply. OK, so here it is right here. Just go ahead and rename it. I'll just leave it at SKSE64 because I already have an SKSE up. And then you just want to keep it next to your original launcher and then your uh, data folder. That's, I don't know. You don't have to do that. That's just more organized. I like it better. But I don't need this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. All right. So now that you're all set up with SKSE, you want to go back to the Nexus. And then just go to Files. And then you can just download it with the actual manager. So... Just download it with the manager, and then it'll be in your mod list. And all you want to do is go down to it and then activate it. And then you're totally set to go. So I'm going to close all those, go ahead and open my SKSE up. Alright, so now we're in SKSE. Everything loaded fine, then uh, just hit inventory or something, bam, you're back in your uh, new menu, Sky UI looks a lot better, super organized, really easy to go through, really quick. You can change the settings up here, like value and weight, take value off, leave weight, take weight off, all that good stuff, and then let me show you real quick. Just go to your uh, regular system menu. Oh, whoops. Get out of that. And then go to mod configuration, sky UI, general, and you can change a bunch of the stuff on it. Like you can do larger font size, change the theme. So you could do Celtic or the other ones as well. But I'm just going to show you Celtic, and then I'm sure you guys can figure out the rest. Check them out. So all the icons up here change. They look really great. Text is bigger. I'm probably going to leave it on the bigger text. I like the big text. Yep, so that's it for Sky UI and uh, SKSE. 
I hope this video really helped you guys out, and then you can enjoy some Skyrim Special Edition with the much-needed menu improvement. Alright, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one.